Dear God, thank you for all the blessings which you provide for us, for the protection and love. Please help us learn and discover many things around us. Guide us by your grace and eternal life. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hi students, my name is Ms. Joyce Wei Pascual and I would like to welcome you to Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics. This course uses lessons or insights from different social sciences branches like anthropology, political science, and sociology to develop students' awareness of cultural, social, and political dynamics, as well as sensitivity to cultural diversity and provide them with an understanding of now culture, human agency, society, and politics work. Let's begin our discussion and understand the culture, society, and the politics. Before we proceed to our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. Articulate observations on human cultural variation, social differences, social change, and political identities. Demonstrate curiosity and an openness to explore the origins and dynamics of culture and society and political identities. Phrase the link between behavior and culture through observation and analysis. And analyze social, political, and cultural change. Let's identify what kind of Filipino customs and practices shows in the pictures. What Filipino custom is this? If your answer is bayanihan, you are correct. This is a derived from the Tagalog word bayan for nation, town or community. Bayanihan literally means being in a bayan and it refers to a fundamental aspect of Filipino culture working together as a community to achieve a common goal. How about this picture? The face of Black Nazarene. This is one of the practices of Filipinos because every year on January 9, millions of Filipinos gather in Manila for a procession of the Black Nazarene or Puong Itim na Nazareno. Most Filipino Catholics consider the Nazarene statue to be miraculous, able to heal terminal cancers and other sicknesses, to grant petitions, and to help those in need. What kind of Filipino practices shows in this picture? If your answer is mano or pagmamano, you are correct. It is a honoring gesture used in a Filipino culture performed as a sign of respect to elders and as a way of requesting a blessing from the elder. It's similar to hand kissing. The person giving the greeting bows towards the hand of the elder and presses their forehead on elder's hand. Usually performed with the right hand, the person showing respect may ask mano po or pables po to the elder or order to ask permission to initiate the gesture. To understand more the culture, the society, and our politics, let's begin our discussion. Three phases of society. Sociology, the study of the development, structure, and functioning of human society. Sociology is the study of human social relationship and institutions. Anthropology, the systematic study of humanity with the goal of understanding our evolutionary origins, our distinctiveness as a species, and the great diversity in our forms of social existence across the world and through the time. Political science, is the scientific study of politics, it is a social science dealing with systems of governance and power. In the analysis of political activities, political thought, political behavior, and associated constitution and laws. 
Culture, Society, and Politics as a Conceptual Tool Culture, Society, and Politics are Concepts Regarding concepts, they are created and have been used to have firm grip of phenomenon. In a simple way, concept makes phenomenon more rational. In addition to that, concepts as a conceptual tool allow us to form other concepts or related concepts to each other, or even deconstruct old ones and replace them with something new. That's why, according to Weber, concept is one of the great tools of all scientific knowledge. As a heuristic tool, concept allows the discovery of new aspects of phenomenon. In this case, concept is more as a means rather than an end. How? With the concept of culture, anthropologists are able to explore and make sense of complex processes and dynamics that characterize the great variety of ways of living, practice, and observe around the world. Social Realities, Behavior, and Phenomena There are times that we find ourselves in a situation unlike other situations. We personally encounter different ways of doing things, behaving, and making sense of events. Observing them, we cannot help but ask, why do people do such a thing? What makes it normal and acceptable to some people in some places and unacceptable to others in other places? These questions are triggered by our habits of looking at other people's worlds as we look at our own. In order to explore the issue further, consider the following situation in the table below. Situation number one. Gary graduated a year ago despite being blessed with several job offers. He chose to remain jobless and hang around with his barcada. Together, they loved to stand by in the town plaza, especially at night. This behavior is what we call a standby. Situation number two. As businessman, Mang Leo is used to giving panulas or lagay to his main supplier in order to expide his business transaction with them. This behavior is called padulas. Members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church are strongly prohibited from eating pork and food with blood, as well as from smoking and drinking alcoholic beverages. This behavior is what we call food taboos. Situation number four. Darius is openly gay. He lives with his partner, Gardner. He and Garner are both college professors in the local city of college. This behavior is what we call same-sex partnership. Situation number five. If grades were to be the basis of Rusty's standing in his economics class, he would surely fail the course. However, he was given a passing grade by his economics teacher who happened to be a childhood friend of his mother. This behavior is what we call Padino. Situation number one is a behavioral example. Situation two and five are of the same category. They are about a set of practices. Situation two is about bribing, while situation five is about the use of influential mediator. In both cases, Undue influence either through money or connection is being exerted to achieve a certain ends or pursue a specific agenda. Situation 3 is related to a group-based practice made possible and stronger by a set of beliefs revolving around the nexus of health and religion. Lastly, Situation 4 is about a form of lifestyle associated with a specific sexual preference and romantic arrangement. Values and Beliefs as Behavior Motivators 
based on the given situations, behavior and phenomena, human behavior, whether individual or collective, are propelled by powerful motivators. Within the perspective of the social sciences, these motivators may be in the form of values and beliefs. Values A person's or a collectivity principles or standards of behavior and are considered as a judgment of what is important in life. In a simple way, they are important and lasting beliefs or ideals shared by the members of a culture about what is good or bad and desirable or undesirable. Values have major influence on a person's behavior and attitude, and they serve as broad guidelines in behavior in all situations. Values are the criteria people use in accessing their daily lives, arranging their priorities, and choosing between alternative courses of actions. Belief is something one accepts as a true or real. This could be based on opinions or conviction. However, some of these opinions are lack of evidences. Belief could be based on tradition, faith, experience, scientific research, or some combination of this. But always remember, both values and beliefs are commonly shared by a particular culture. Social Dynamics Social, Political, and Cultural Change For scenario number one, taking selfies is Eliza's preoccupation. It became a habit when her parents gave her a phone on her birthday. This phenomena is what we call selfieing. Scenario number two. Captain Tim is the incumbent major of the city of Amin Amin. His son, Timmy Jr., is currently running for the congressional seat of the district, a position occupied by his mother, Congressman Valencia, for about three consecutive terms. This phenomena is called political dynasty. Scenario number three. Amina, a college student, is living alone in Manila. Both of her parents are OFWs working in the Middle East. She visits them every summer break. This phenomena is what we call transnational families. Scenario number five. Michael almost missed the chance to finish high school because he had been absent most of the time playing Dota. This phenomena is what we call video gaming. The scenarios presented in the table typify behavior and situations that are new emerging and familiar. For scenario number one, unselfish is a recent behavioral pattern due to the infiltration of technology. Scenario number two, on political dynasty is a familiar one and reflects the durability of certain cultural and political practices. For scenario number three, it represents an emerging pattern of family relations. Just like scenario number one. Scenario number five, which is about video gaming, is a fast becoming a normal behavioral pattern among the younger members of the Filipino society. Lastly, scenario number four is about volunteerism, which appears to be a personal expression of a political principle by an increasing number of people. What is common among the scenarios is that they may all be considered as manifestations of cultural and political changes. New technological platforms facilitating communication, self-expression, and interaction represent the cultural change, while possession and expression of power represent the political change. For your activity, show you know, write a short essay arguing that the lute is a unique cultural icon of the Filipinos. Compose your essay on your journal notebook. 
Summing up, how do you live your life as a student, as a social being in a deeper sense? Reflect and write your reflection on your BLMS or journal notebook. For your activity, divide the sheet of paper into two, label the first column as past, label of the other half as current. Choose among the following topics, education, language, clothing, courtship, and treatment of women, and LGBT. Write about the past Filipino cultural practices and beliefs associated with your topic in the past column. And write about the present cultural practices and beliefs associated with your topic in the current column. For beyond the lesson, complete the matrix. Write the answer on your BLMS or journal notebook.